ISO boom. Most of you know I'm from a city called New York City, one of the best cities in the world, glamorous lights, five boroughs, MTA. And for some reason for years, the staple food for the city is pizza. And yes, it did originate from Italy, but because we're in New York City, it is now our staple food. It originated from here. So I had an idea where I would research the best pizza shop in each borough, go to those pizza shops and see which one is the best out of all of them. But you know, <coughs> my God, pizza might be good, but it's not filling. Pizza might be hot, but it doesn't have the spice. What do, what does? What do? What does have all these things is Caribbean food. And as a training daddy and myself, I can confirm that. So instead of going to each pizza shop in each borough, we'll be going to each Caribbean spot in each borough. All of these countries count as the Caribbean, even though most of them are gonna pop up as Jamaican. <coughs> also, there's a surprise for the best Caribbean spot of my choice. So uh, stick around to figure that one out. So now it's time to research the best Caribbean restaurant in each borough. For hours in the night, I spent it researching and researching and okay, I don't know what I was doing with this b -roll. but then finally the next morning I finished. Alright, it's the next morning. I was able to find some restaurants in Brooklyn, in Queens, in Manhattan, in the Bronx. Nah, 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 suck my dick, suck my dick, suck my dick. Dude, I ain't even say nothing yet, you violent. Nah, cause y'all always got something to say about Staten Island, bro. Like, what What else? What, what do you have to say? What else do you have to say? Like, get off. I mean, come on, bro. We have to take a whole ferry to get to you, bro. There's a whole bridge in Brooklyn to get in Staten Island. Yeah, we take that bridge to take your highway into New Jersey. You could take the tunnels in Manhattan to get to New Jersey. I mean, yeah, that's another way. So you'd rather go around me, go through me, but not into me? Yeah, pretty much, you know. Nah, you know what? You pussy. <laughs> come on, bro. Stop playing. Yeah, you scared to come over here, pussy. Say I won't. <laughs> Say I won't. You won't. I bet. Not because of that. I was going to make Brooklyn the first place, but now the first place we're going to is Stein Island since I'm pussy. Yeah. What the fuck is you talking about? And just like that, we are on our way to the first Caribbean spot. We'll be following this round. <laughs> We'll be following this route in order to hit the rest of the four. Now you may be wondering. Pizza is one food. Green food is mad. <laughs> so which dish are you going to compare to each other in each restaurant? Rice and peas or beans and rice. Rice and beans. Whatever you call it in your Caribbean. Rice and peas is the most crucial, most important part of any Caribbean dish. That is the part that fills you inside the most. That, that kind of sounded wrong. I don't care how tasty, how edible, how delectable, how suckable the curry chicken, jerk chicken, oxtail, I don't care how tasty it is. If the rice and peas is not up to par, then it's an L. The person who made it is an L and needs to go on the island for life! Okay. <laughs> But enough of me rambling, it is now time to go to the best Caribbean restaurant in Staten Island, according to you. Do you guys have um, rice and peas? Can I just get a plate of that? Yeah, actually. Someone told me this was the best Caribbean restaurant in Staten Island. Is that true? It is? Okay. We gonna see. It's not bad. Okay, it's not bad. It's just a little better. It's just a little tiny bit dry. Like you know how you're in bed with some weight. I can't. I can't use that example. I had to keep tasting the rice and peas because it had such an interesting taste. So good, but bad at the same time. So pretty, but ugly at the same time. It's good. What are you looking at? It's okay, but the gravy saved it though, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they didn't put too much feeling into cooking this. If I was to rate it out of 10, I would give it like a, a five, to be honest. When you make Caribbean food, you gotta make it with love, and this was made with half love. Let's see which restaurant could top that. After eating the average rice and peas, it was time to go to the next stop, Manhattan. This restaurant I'm about to go to popped up twice on Yelp. Hold on. Can I just get a um, plate of rice and peas? I was about to eat. I'm disappointed. According to Yelp, these are the best restaurants in each borough, bro. And so far, I'm getting stale and bitter. And I give these, this rice and peas a six. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still eating it, because it's not bad. It's just it's not made with love, man. It's supposed to make Caribbean food with love and passion and aggression and. and Brilliant. All right, I'm probably messing up my audience attention a lot right now. The Manhattan one was disappointing. It was only one point above the Staten Island spot. So now we're going to the next stop. This is a block down to train. 
Yes, the next stop is the Boogie Down Bronx. Now, this restaurant was kind of hard to find because there were a lot of options, but I ended up finding one that was highly rated. And in the description, it said the best Caribbean restaurant in the Bronx. So, yeah. And I've been traveling a lot for a lot of hours. Please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Let's get to two likes. All right. Yeah, that's it. I'm approaching the restaurant right now. All right, can I just get a plate of rice and peas? Oh, hurt that time. Now you may be wondering, now why aren't you talking right now? Well, the food is so goddamn good, I forgot to review it. Oh my God. Oh shit. Where to me, bro? Where to? No, I definitely got was recording. This shit is busting. Where to my dad? He fucking that shit up. <laughs> oh God. Eight and a half. This rice and peas was made out of love. It's the best rice and peas I had all day. And just like that, the Bronx Caribbean restaurant was in the lead, which is why you get your first B-roll clip of the rice and peas. Look at how suckable, how delectable. <laughs> you two don't bad me, bro. So as y'all can see, it is late at night, like around, well, not that late, around 9, 10, but... I'm a little tired, so also still got two boroughs left, but I can't just go home and just restart and go to the next borough. I gotta go in order. So I'll be sleeping right here on these steps in the Bronx. Hopefully I wake up with all of my things. Good night, y'all. I'll see y'all in the morning to go to the next two boroughs. Oh, oh shit. Yes, I fell asleep on the stairs and woke up in the Bronx and did not go home and went to sleep and then came back in the Bronx the next morning so that I could act like I woke up on the stairs. Like for dedication. My camera also broke in my bag when I was sleeping, so that's why the rest of this video I'll be recording off my phone. Yo, DTV. But before we move on, it is now time to reveal the surprise. So basically, the best Caribbean restaurant is going to receive a $20 tip as an endorsement of the Mavis' channel. I was gonna give like 50, but... I'm bro. We are now entering Queens, and after I went into the crackhead infested bathroom to change my hoodie, it was time to go to the Ford restaurant. Now, there were a couple of problems. Number one, I walked into the restaurant and there was no one at the counter to take my order. And then I was waiting for about five minutes, just standing there waiting for someone to get to the counter. But after 20 hours of waiting, someone finally came out. But after all that waiting, I thought of something. Can I get a, um... I forgot to tell y'all, for anyone who has never stepped into a Caribbean restaurant in New York City, there are important rules to follow. And this one... Can I get a, um... It's the first one I broke. Don't ever, ever take home to order food in a Caribbean restaurant. Because most likely the employee is going to give you a nasty look, aka cut eye. And then they're going to feel disrespected. How dare you come in their store and take so long to order? They had a long day. They had to take the train, the bus, the airplane, climb up a hill to get to work. How dare you antagonize? <laughs> yeah, I'm probably the only one left in my jokes. <laughs> Just don't take long to order in a fucking Caribbean restaurant. Can I get... Um, fried chicken, rice and peas. Wait, sorry, can I get oxtail rice and peas? Wait, actually, let me just get rice and peas with oxtail gravy. Ah, the most second and most crucial rule has been broken. Don't ever change your order in a Caribbean restaurant. The employee might once again give you a cut eye and the most crucial thing, they will not change your order. No, 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 the first time you have to order oxtail and rice and peas, right? So that's what you have to get. No curry chicken. That happened to me one time a couple years ago. Like, I'm so dead ass. Do not change your order. No, but seriously, guys, a lot of Caribbean employees especially a lot of Caribbean people have zero tolerance for misbehavior so please follow these rules if you want to make it out alive in the Caribbean restaurant just in case however this Caribbean lady was being nice yeah. shout out to this lovely lady she made sure my order was correct and even made sure that the rice and peas was more healthy with the steamed vegetables but now it is time to eat It's not better than the Bronx, but it's better than Manhattan and Staten Island. The vegetables kind of added a touch to it. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. I gave Bronx eight out of ten. It's a seven out of ten. It's not bad. It's not bad. The Bronx is still in the lead, but shout out to the Queens restaurant and that lovely lady. But now. <laughs> The best borough for last. When I searched up best Caribbean restaurant in Brooklyn, this restaurant literally popped up on the main page. Yo, yeah, you don't switch the apps, close the extra tab. The video's about to finish, okay? Like, 
relax like it literally popped up on the main page nothing else popped up but this restaurant so obviously i'm gonna go to that restaurant this is the part of the video where like the stakes are supposed to be high because like it's coming to an end ah oh, shit let me think of something else. Oh, okay. I'm gonna act like the store is about to close and I have like 30 minutes to get there when it's really like an hour trip. You know, the regular YouTube thing of exaggerating the stakes in YouTube videos. All right, ready? Oh my God, guys, we have 30 minutes to get to the restaurant and it's just an hour trip. I, I, I have to hurry up. Oh my God. All right, guys, we gotta hurry up. I'm about to get on the train. I have 20 minutes left. It's still gonna be like a 40 minute ride. Oh my God, bro. Guys, I'm so stressed out. The train is in delays. It's not moving from the station, bro. I'm so scared. I'm not gonna make it on time. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. We finally made it. Just on time. Around. 8.58, need to hurry up and get the food. It all came down to this, can this restaurant beat the Bronx? I'm close to home, I'm gonna go home and eat the final dish of rice and peas. So I made my decision last night, <clears throat> on my way to the winning restaurant to give them a $20 tip. Haha, <laughs> yeah. She ain't see her, but Rich's squad endorses. Okay, that's not my actual name for y'all. I'm still thinking of one. Help me in the comments. <laughs> Brooklyn one. I mean, when you search this restaurant up, there's a reason why it pops up first for a reason, man. It's a nice one. And I just got another plate. <laughs> and I think after today, we all learned a valuable lesson. Yelp and Google reviews don't mean sh I've been living in this city for 20 years. I know a lot of more Caribbean restaurants that were better than the ones we went to. Trust me, I know y'all spamming that in the comments for those of y'all that are from here. And also, I'm not being biased, okay? Glorious Rice and Peas was the best I had out of all the restaurants. But to just prove that I'm not biased, all the restaurants I went to will be in the description. If y'all want me to go to the better Caribbean restaurants, if y'all want me to go to Mexican food restaurants, Honduran food restaurants, Italian, whatever. 100 likes. I need 100 likes for part two. I'll make this a mini series on this channel. And this was also kind of like a first hand, first person view type of video. So if you want more videos like that, that are not so idea based, raw and unedited, go subscribe to my vlog channel, okay? It's right gonna be in the description down below. It's probably gonna pop up on your screen. Go subscribe there, all right? Go subscribe, all right? Oh yeah, thanks for watching.